What's up guys? Today I want to talk about a topic that's important to me and everyone really, uh, income. So just want to say not all incomes created equal. I know that sounds maybe pretentious for people that are, you know, struggling and think, you know, a job's a job and you just gotta make money. But I've never really believed that. Someone coming from an office setting where I was really paid well to not even work that hard, but to like give up a piece of my soul, sitting in that drab, fluorescent glow of just like a boring office, seeing the people that have rotted there for three years. <laughs> like, I have a lot of opinions about it. So I want to talk about income, uh, the importance of the type of income you have, and also break down what the types are. So I know this isn't really red pill, a lot of these alpha dudes are like, just hustle, do what you gotta do, get rich, you know, blah, blah, blah. I personally don't believe that. I've sacrificed money in my 20s to live an adventurous life, and it hit many dead ends and walls that have allowed me to realize the value of money, and even more so the value of how you make money. So let's get into it. Uh, today, a good story. I started, uh, or I didn't start, but I worked uh, commercial. It was probably the second quadrant of income. So this type of work, it was a Vanguard commercial. It had, you know, the dynamics are very fluid. There's a lot of components that think about. So let's think about it. Vanguard commercial, it's like a bank, you know, not that exciting. It was produced by the Vice Media guys who flew in from New York. So really fun team, really cool people to work with. Just imagine like cool outfits and tattoos, joking around the entire time. Amazing food. Um, I worked with Virgo Talent, which is this great agency that, you know, met a lot of great people through, so I got to work with people that I've worked with before, a really core crew of people that just were fun to work with. So, I'd say that's the second quadrant. It's the quadrant where you're trading your time for money, but you're actually enjoying what you do. So, that's a great way to make money. I'd, I'd say the two quadrants, one and two, are the quadrants you want to work with. Three and four are terrible. So, let's talk about three. Let's contrast it a little. Three is where you make money on your own terms, but it's something you hate doing. So that also isn't great. Like, it's great that you're making money on your own terms, you don't have a boss, but you still might have shitty customers, or it's a product that you hate, there's a process that you hate, you know, the industry might not be fun. There's a lot of elements there. My example of that is doing Airbnb in Austin. It was great, you know, there was a lot of elements of freedom that came along with that, having a, you know, no, no boss and being able to travel. I was location independent, pretty financially independent. I made enough money to survive the one year that I did it. And the downside was that it's really difficult managing real estate. A lot of things go wrong, you know. I could have maybe scaled it up and outsourced a lot of the work, but the reality of the economics of that type of real estate is you really have to get into higher end real estate. You have to charge really high amounts, rent it out to groups. My original idea for it that would have maybe maybe put it in the first quadrant, which is the best type of money, is something where it's like my dream customer, you know, dream service. I want to provide the most value, and that was renting to monthly travelers. And the problem with that is travelers don't have much money, and they're trying to pay the least amount of money for monthlies. So. In order to do monthlies right, you need to do it to groups, to corporations, and then that's back into quadrant three, where it's difficult and annoying. So let's talk about quadrant four, and we'll end with quadrant one, which is something I still haven't experienced, but I'm on my way to, and that's kind of like my main purpose, I'd say, um, and it should be yours too. Quadrant four is obviously trading your time, or no, no, quadrant four, yeah, let's call it, quadrant four is trading your time for money, doing something you hate. So back to the bank. You're trading your time for money. You're stuck in an office from a certain time to a certain time. You have bosses, you have cute like quarterly reports, just all this awful stuff. It has nothing to do with what you like to do. You have no say in the matter. Everything is like handed down to you. And you know, you can rise the ranks and stuff, but all that means is more money. And that's never gonna make you happy. That's the worst kind of income. You're selling your soul for a small price and it's not worth it, trust me. So, Quadrant one, this is like the bingo bango, kind of why I'm here on YouTube, trying to create something out of nothing, something that I'm actually passionate about, something that I love, that doesn't have a bunch of negative energy around it. Maybe, you know, you might eventually get negative comments and like drama and stuff as a YouTuber, but then that means you're just slipping into quadrant three, you're going off on purpose, you know? So, for me, personal development, um, 
being the best person I can, presenting the best image, self-care, smelling good, feeling good, looking good, all that stuff I'm super passionate about, and that's what I'm gonna be talking about on this channel. So if you like it, subscribe, and there's gonna be more to come, and definitely more products, and people, and cool stories. So think of quadrant one as the main goal. It's income where you don't have to trade your money for time, or sorry, you don't have to trade your time for money. It's income where you're doing what you love, and it's income where you're helping other people. Uh, so yeah, not all income is created equal, and I hope that helps you understand it a little better. All right guys, have a good one.